If you're in the Tampa Bay area and you're looking to get into real estate investing but you're having trouble stretching your dollars as far as it used to go, you're in luck because I want to talk to you today. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. Obviously, subscribe to Holton Wise TV if you like what I do here today, and I think you will, right? Because what I'm doing is what I can do for everybody who's watching. I'm working with an investor named Joey. Joey, you're in the Tampa Bay area, and you've done some investing in the past. You don't like investing in the Tampa Bay area because your money doesn't go that far, right? Tampa Bay, it's cool, man. You got fucking Tom Brady now. Congrats. That's dope. Uh, it's fucking warm, right? All right? It's nice. It's warm. What do people do when shit's warm and nice? They fucking move there. When a lot of people move somewhere, what happens to real estate? It fucking goes up in price, right? So your dollar isn't going as far as you want it to. You're looking to stretch your dollar further. So you invested in Memphis. That's going okay. Memphis, not as hot as mar of a market as Tampa Bay, right? There's a lot of cheap markets out there like Memphis, right? You decided to move on from Memphis. You know, build your business a little bit bigger. Don't keep all your eggs in one basket. And you want to come to the Cleveland market. And that's what I do, right? That's what I help. I help people like you, Joey, people like everybody else that's in the Tampa Bay area that's watching this. I help you guys buy cash flowing real estate for prices that are unheard of in Tampa Bay. We're going to be looking at a property today that is only going to require $19,250 of your cash, Joey. Now, everybody else who's watching Joey's video, just so you know, I sent this to Joey probably fucking six to eight months ago, if I had to guess, right? I only release these videos publicly on Holton Wise TV after the deal is done. If you want to work with me in real time like Joey's doing, send my team an email. Give us your phone number. We'll talk to you about the process. Because right now, we're going to go to a quick commercial break, and then I'm going to jump into these numbers for Joey. Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's jump right into the numbers. I think you are going to dig this one. 3300 West 90th, Cleveland, 44102. DC, great area, right? It's an area that we have hundreds of freaking properties. I say that this is, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's hard to say things like high risk or low risk because everybody has a different uh, uh, perspective, right? That's the word I'm looking for, perspective. Everyone has a different perspective of what high or low means. So what I recommend doing is Googling something called the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. In there, I've graded every neighborhood on an A to F scale uh, based upon risk, right? So this will fall under low C, high D, right? So we all know what we're talking about, right? As far as I'm concerned, I've made the most of my money in this type of asset class. I think putting Section 8 tenants in this type of asset class is the best way to go, right? Uh, with these type of assets, you run into, um, you know, Tenants that sometimes have trouble paying rent, right? They're usually one or two, you know, crappy life situations away from uh, not having your money, right? Like their car breaks down. Uh, they don't show up to work one day, this or that, right? And then, you know, they make that the landlord's problem. That's the biggest issue with these type of neighborhoods, okay? Section 8, my opinion, it's the cheat code, right? Because you're guaranteeing the rent. So you still get the cheap-ass properties, the high rents, and you get the consistency of that rent payment, right? So I, I like Section 8. A lot of property managers don't like to do Section 8 for investors like you, though, because it's a bitch. It is a fucking bitch to deal with the housing authorities and the government. I mean, fuck this goddamn America. If you don't think the government is fucking hard to deal with, like, you have not fucking been living in America. Who in the fuck has ever got done dealing with the government, dealing with the IRS, dealing with the post office, and was like, man... I was just dealing with the government, and let me tell you, that was a fucking great experience, right? That has happened fucking never, right? So, a lot of property managers, they don't like dealing with Section 8, right? We do. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, it fucking sucks, right? It's, it's not like it's fun. But uh, we understand the value of it, and the pros heavily outweigh the cons, right? We do charge you a little bit more to go through all that process because 
it is a extremely time consuming process. So we have a fact on all that. Go to holdenlice.com, click the property management fact. There's a section eight fact in there. A whole page dedicated to how section eight works. But once you get through all that and you're down to do that, you can make a lot of money on properties just like this. This property already has a tenant in there. Long term tenant, who I'm ninety nine percent sure according to the listing agent, is on section eight, which I don't know what's going on with the listing agent, though. Like, all the photos are, <laughs> are like, on, like, a 70-degree angle or something. So, I, I, like, I don't know what this guy's got going on here, right? He's got some issues. But outside of his horrible fucking uh, camera skills, he's telling me we got a Section 8 tenant in there at 891. But that is below market rent. What we are typically seeing in a house like this on Section 8 is about 1,000, right? So that would be approximately 12000 a year supposed to come in. After fixed and variable expense estimates, I think you would net out $5,728. For price, they are asking $79.9. I think we could get it a little bit cheaper, right? Go in, pick it up at $77. Just like I said uh, earlier. These expense estimates, right? I think you're going to be spending $6,272 a year, right? They're going to be, in my opinion, the cheat code uh, to more consistency, right? I think it would be hard to hit these numbers if you do not utilize the Section 8 program. Luckily, we have a Section 8 tenant who's currently in there at 891, according to the listing agent. Again, 99% sure that's accurate, okay? What we'd want to do is we'd want to file to get that rent increase to a more normalized market rent, which would be 1000 right? It's very possible uh, that the existing seller put this tenant in there like five, six years ago and just never raised the rent. The process of raising the rent with Section 8, it's fucking, it, it, don't think it's going to be like, hey, hold on, you close on the property, get my rent up uh, to 1000 And then we're like, no problem. And then we call you two days later, it's done, it's 1000 yay! It's not going to work like that, okay? It's going to be like a long back and forth with Section 8. More info on that is in the fact. But eventually, we should be able to get it up to 1000 and that's how you'll see these projections. If you go with the cash-paying tenant in a neighborhood like this, it could throw off your projections a little bit. You may have more vacancy and non-payment, right? But the numbers, they speak for themselves, right? If we can pick it up at 77, you only need to put down 19,250. Bank kicks in 57,750. That would be a cash on cash return of 15%. That's an average, of course, average based on how many properties like this would perform. This is a solid starter investment if you're getting into out of state investing and you're looking for low cost real estate. Let me know what you'd like to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.